By the end of this video, you're gonna know the best AI video generator tool that you should be using to create faceless content because at the end of the day, they're not all created equally and I've literally gone through and tested all of them and I'm gonna share with you in this video my top three favorite, why they're my favorites, and exactly which one I would recommend that you use if you wanna create better faceless content right now because whether or not you get views on your faceless content is ultimately gonna come down to the content that you're creating and whether or not you're using the right AI video generator tool is going to make a huge difference in how many views you actually end up getting, how much money it's going to cost you to run that channel, and whether or not your channel is going to be successful. The three tools I'm going to be covering in this video are first going to be NVIDIA AI, secondly, Pictory, and then third, Lumen5, because they're definitely not all created equally, and one of them is going to be way better than the rest of them. But first, I need you to smash that subscribe button. If you want to go quicker on YouTube, Instagram, or TikTok, I literally upload a video every single day about how to grow on these platforms, so please make sure you subscribe so you never miss a video. For starters, I really liked using NVIDIA AI. It's incredibly intuitive. You could create a video in just a few minutes and they have really advanced tools to help with the editing process. And here's exactly how you can create a video using NVIDIA AI. So the main reason that I really like using NVIDIA AI is because you can prompt it with a very simple prompt. For example, I'm gonna use this prompt right here, but you could add up to 3,600 characters so you could get really specific with what you wanted to do. So I told it to create a 10 minute YouTube video about the top five scariest criminals of all time. The video should contain storytelling and key points. The overall vibe of the video should be educational, but with a scary twist. And I'm gonna get rid of this period here. The point of the video is to help people make aware of the top five scariest criminals of all time with a great video. The voiceover should be a deep voice with a dynamic pacing and the voiceover should use very simple words, a lot of stock footage, and doomy music should be added. So from here, all we have to do is click generate video. And what this is going to do, this is it's going to create the video for you. No more finding B-roll for your content. No more having to script out your content. No more having to go through and create all of this content yourself. And video is literally going to do this for you. And on top of that, once it's done, we can edit the voiceover. We could get it to change different things that it added into the video. We could even go through and get our own stock footage, but I don't want to get ahead of myself. So let's let this actually create the piece of content and then I'll show you how we can edit it. Okay, so after the initial prompt, we also have to give it a few more things here, like for example, what the ideal audience is gonna be, the look and feel, and then also the platform. So from here, we're gonna click continue, and then boom. This is literally gonna create the video for us in just seconds. So now that the video is actually created, let's check it out. In the vast annals of crime, some names stand out, leaving an indelible mark on history with their bone-chilling acts. In the murky depths of human history, there exists a sinister underbelly a realm where the unthinkable becomes reality, a place where the most terrifying monsters. Now let's say that we actually wanted to change a few things. We can actually do that. And there are a few ways to do it. One, you could literally just give a command right here in the command scene. For example, delete the second scene. It's really not relevant. You're gonna click generate and boom. It's literally gonna go through and do it. No more hiring an editor to do that. It literally just did that in seconds. On top of that, what you could do is you can come into edit here and you can edit two different things. First, you can edit the different media that shows up, how long it shows up for, and you can actually go and do your own search for different premium stock footage. For example, I'm gonna do a search for a murder scene and we're gonna see what actually pops up. And this is gonna include premium stock footage in it also, or you could even go through and upload your own media. And as I can see, there's a bunch of different stock footage that I could use to portray that scene. And all you have to do is come up here and you can change how long the scene duration is, what the center point is, and so much more. On top of that, if we come under edit script, we can literally change the script right here. And there's so much more that you can do with NVIDIA AI because you can literally have it change a call to action or you could have it change the voiceover. So after you're done making all your edits to your video, all you have to do is click export right here. You want to make sure that it exports without the watermark. You want to click none and I would recommend uploading in 1080p. And then you just click continue and boom, it is literally going to export the video for you in just a few minutes and now you have a video that's ready to upload to YouTube. Now, as you can see, creating facial content with NVIDIA AI is incredibly simple, very intuitive, and their editing tools are almost unmatched. But we still do have two other video generators that I need to go through. But first, I did want to tell you, if you go to the pinned comment below, you can get started today with NVIDIA AI for free. 
But if you're going to be uploading content to YouTube, I would strongly suggest that you upload to one of their premium plans so that you could get rid of those watermarks because if not, it's gonna look pretty weird that your content has a bunch of watermarks throughout it. And best of all, if you start off on a monthly plan, it's only $25 a month. And if you sign up yearly, it's only $20 a month, which is a huge bargain if you actually take into consideration that now you don't have to pay a voiceover actor, you don't have to script your content, you don't have to edit your content, you're actually gonna end up saving a ton of money and making one video within Video AI could literally get you monetized on YouTube, which means it could pay for itself. The next tool that I tried out was Lumen 5. Now, right off the bat, this kind of looks like a much worse version of NVIDIA AI simply for the reason that it wants me to choose all these different templates. Now, I don't know about you, but I've never seen a YouTube video, especially a faceless YouTube video that was made in a weird template like this. So I'm gonna click this one because we're around the holidays. So I'm gonna click this right here. Now, this is pretty cool. We can actually choose the format here, which again is a little bit different. So we're gonna click this. We're gonna click use this format. And from here, you can choose what type of content you actually want to create. So I'm going to do text on media where I'm actually going to have to paste the URL to a blog. So I'm going to come through and I'm going to do a search for some type of blog. So I'm going to do blog about top five scariest criminals all time. And from here, we're going to get this blog post right here. I'm going to paste it right here. We're going to import it. So this is going to take a few minutes, but essentially what this is going to do is it is going to take the script from this article and then we can go through and have it continue with AI. And it is literally going to create the script based off of this. Now on top of this, we can choose whether or not we can create certain links content. Now, as you saw within video, I was able to make a video over one minute long. So you're literally not going to be able to create the video that you want to with Lumen 5 unless you end up paying. Now from here, we can edit the script. As you can see, this only made a video that was about 51 seconds long. And essentially what we're going to do is click show more and it can show you all the different spin-offs that can be created. Now, from here, I want to scroll down. Nope, there's nothing that's actually longer. So we're going to click continue. This is going to show us the script right here. And then we're going to click convert to video. Now here is where it's actually going to make this. Now look, this does not look natural at all. This doesn't look like something that's going to get views on YouTube simply because this looks more like a PowerPoint than an actual video. Now, hopefully it creates something that's a little better. But as we could see over here, we can change the different music tracks that show up. We can add in a voiceover, we can change the different style, all the colors that are showing, we could even change the format. And we can come up here and change the media that is showing. For example, let's do murder scene, similar to what we did before. And you'll see that you can also find a lot of this good media here. And most of this is free but we're not able to actually create the video in the length that we want. And as you can see, this is still creating this content here. So we're just gonna wait for this to finish and then we're gonna click preview. But right now, I'm really not a huge fan of this tool because we can't create the content that we want and we have to do a lot more of the work. And video AI was a lot easier where I literally just told it what to do and it did all the work for me. But with Lumen 5, it looks like I'm gonna manually have to do most of this work. At this point, I've literally been waiting for like 10 minutes and it looks like it's glitched on this last scene and won't create anything. But nevertheless, I do want to show you some of the previews here because this is definitely a huge step down from NVIDIA AI. We're going to start here with the holiday theme, which by the way, I don't think works at all, but we could edit all of this different stuff. We could even change the template. But if we watch this... That's horrible. I mean, it doesn't hook you in. There's no voiceover. There's no scene that actually looks like what the title of this video would end up being. And if we come down here, we're going to see the same thing. I mean, literally, I can guarantee you, this content has no voiceover in it. It wants me to go through and do that myself. I don't have time to do that because I'm busy and I'm sure you don't have time to do that either. On top of that, this isn't actually like a traditional video. This video doesn't look like it was made for YouTube. This looks like this could be made simply for PowerPoint. Now, there still is one other tool that we need to watch. So let's dive into how to create a video with Pictory. Now there's still one other tool that I do wanna show you, which is gonna be Pictory AI, and I promise it's going to be better than Lumen 5, but 
Okay, so when it comes to using Pictory, this does look much better than Lumen 5, but we're still going to have to actually go through and create the content herself. So I'm gonna do similar to what we did with Lumen 5. I'm gonna take this article right here. I'm gonna copy and paste the URL in here, and we're gonna click proceed, and we're gonna build a video actually based off of that URL. I'm gonna X out of that. Now, essentially, this is gonna go through right now. It's going to extract the key messages within the article. It's going to build a script off of that, and then it's going to allow us to actually create the video video based off of that. So I'll check back in just a second when this is ready to go. Okay, so initially that was kind of slow to load, but it didn't take that long. Once I clicked pause, it literally went from like 2% to 100%. So that only took a few seconds. So that is a huge win already over Lumen 5. Now here, we're going to have basically the key parts of the article that it's extracted. Now it's gone through and it's built six different scenes off of this. Now when it comes to scene settings, you can choose to use auto visual selection or auto highlight keywords. And that's essentially what it did here. You can also go through and highlight things and add a scene in if you don't agree with what it extracted from the article. Now here, we're going to click next. We're going to wait for this to load and essentially this right here is going to build a storyboard. Now it is incredibly annoying that they keep prompting me with this pop-up that I keep having to X out of. Now, when it comes to creating a video in minutes, you're gonna see exactly how we could do that right here. Okay. So from here, we have each different scene. It is literally going to tell me all of this different stuff here. And if I come here, I can click to actually preview the video. Let's do that. Okay, so as you can see here, again, there's no voiceover in this content. And this made, honestly, are another really bad video. A lot of this B-roll has nothing to do with anything. Right here, seven of history's most notorious serial killers, and it's showing me what looks like, I, I don't even know what this is. This looks like an AI-generated image of a sword going through somebody's neck, which makes absolutely no sense. Now, if we come down here, we can add in different audio in here. We can add different text that's going to show on the screen. We can change the visuals here. For example, let's do what we were doing with the other ones. And if we type in something like killers, let's see what type of information pops up. Now, as you can see here, this is all right stock footage, but I would say that the stock footage is actually worse than what showed on Lumen 5 and what showed within Video AI. On top of that, we can come in here and add elements. We can add different styles. We can get rid of branding or we could format the video in a different way. But essentially, I don't like this either because we're going to have to go through and we're going to have to fix all of this stuff. Okay, now the last thing I did want to compare here is the pricing when it comes to all three of these tools. If we start with Lumen, which by the way, is the one that I would definitely suggest not using. You can get the basic for $29 a month, starter for $80 a month, and professional for $200 a month. Now, personally, I don't think this is worth it at all because remember, you actually have to go through and create all this content. It starts with the template and it doesn't look native to YouTube. When it comes to Pictory, you could get started for $23 a month. Professional is $47 a month. And if you have a team, you get $119 a month. Now, what I like here is you can actually choose how many videos you want to create a month. And this is going to change the pricing that you see. On top of that, you'll see that you get 20 hours of video transcription per month. You get all these different features if you choose a professional feature for $47. If you go with the starter for $23, it's only going to be 30 videos a month. But if we come to NVIDIA AI, you could get started today for free, which remember, if you go to the pinned comment below, you could get started right now for free. But I'd really recommend recommend that you do is that you sign up for plus right here. And as a reminder, if you sign up monthly, it'll be $25 a month. If you do yearly, it'll only be $20 a month. Now under monthly, you're going to get 50 minutes a month of AI generated content, and you're going to get all this other stuff. You could also upgrade to max, which is if you're a growing creator and you need to create more content, which by the way, you can create up to 200 minutes. Now, again, if we compare that to these other ones, Lumen wouldn't suggest going with it. It's just not worth it. And they're trying to get you to pay $200 a month for a product that's just not as good. Pictory could be a solid option for you if you don't want to create that much content. Again, 20 hours of video for $47 a month. But if you go within video, you can literally get started today for free and you can upgrade as your channel continues to grow. This is clearly the option that I would suggest going with after we compared the three of them. So what are you waiting for? Go to that pin comment below and register for NVIDIA AI for free today.
When it came to using NVIDIA AI, it felt very intuitive. I literally just wrote out a prompt. I could get as detailed as possible and it went and did the work for me. And from there, I was just editing the content. But when it came to Lumen 5 and Pictory, it felt like I was providing it with something very small in the beginning. It would go off and create something and then I'd have to fix that. I'd have to add in the voiceover and I'd have to change all these different scenes. And it seemed like way more work. On top of that, if you want a step-by-step -step guide on how to build a faceless channel when it comes to actually creating the content, choosing your niche, and uploading your video, I strongly suggest you check out this video right here, which is a step-by-step -step guide and an exact walkthrough on how to create a faceless channel that can get monetized.